Mrs. Nisa Kusariana, ya, yeah. uh, she is a student, a Prof. Kopi, you know that, yeah, yeah, ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Saya kenal, saya kenal Prof. Uh, Kopi. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. uh, my teacher yeah, also. Mahasiswa. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh. we work together. I've been uh, in Bogor uh, several yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I see your uh, publication and then uh, Prof. Kopi uh, involved uh, in that. Yeah. Uh, But Nisa uh, uh, interest in what the subject uh, mosquito ya Nisa mosquito hmm. yeah I recommend yeah I, I recommend uh, her to yeah to continue the study at, at UM <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> um, and then uh, yeah after after Nisa speech uh, my dean Uh, after that, my dean, yeah, maybe uh, five to seven minutes, and then uh, I'm a moderator. Uh, yeah, to ask you uh, start the pres your presentation. Yeah, or maybe uh, one a half. Yeah, one a half uh, hour, and then discussion. Okay. Yeah, we we flexible the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because uh, the time uh, so nine uh, am we want we want to start. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe uh, the MC uh, handle the agenda. Okay. Thank you, Doctor Su.
tes 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 masuk di bagian audio The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. May your dream fly high. Imagination will take you everywhere. The future is always beginning now. Universitas di Penogoro, UNDIP, is one of the oldest public universities in Indonesia, established on January 9, 1957, located in Semarang, Central Java, Indonesia. Since the enactment of the government regulation number 52 of 2015, the status of UNDIP is legal and it is state university. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Greeting for University di Ponegoro, the best university in Indonesia. Universitas di Ponegoro, as one of the universities in Indonesia, has declared to be research university with an international reputation and accordance with the vision of be become an excellent research university. As an international world-class research university, although UNIF is expected to have a good academic reputation that create globally competitive graduates with excellent competence, conduct continuous research and development for the people with continuous improvement of human resources by internal standard capacity development program. Internationally, UNDIP has ranked by the QS World University Ranking and Times Higher Education World University Ranking as the top 8 best universities in Indonesia. UNDIP was ranked in the 2021 QS Asian University Ranking. 
University Graduate Employability at 2020 QS World Ranking and in the 2021 QS World University Ranking by Subject for Business and Management Studies. Moreover, UNDIP also ranked by Times Higher Education World University Ranking for Times Higher Education Impact Ranking and Times Higher Education World University Ranking by Subjects for Business and Economic, Life Science, Physical Science, and Engineering and Technology. For Environmental Sustainability, UE Green Metric also posted UNDIP at 39th World University Rankings. UNDIP has a strong commitment to improving the quality of education towards global standards by continuously improving the quality of education for its students, increasing the quantity and quality of research and scientific publications, and contributing to society through community services. Strategic planning and efforts being implemented to internationalize UNDIP is by opening international class programs in various study programs, allocating scholarship opportunities for applicants from abroad through the Dipenogoro Master Scholarship or DIS program, and Dipenogoro Exchange Experience Program or DEEP cooperating with leading universities in the world concerning education collaboration such as facilitating UNDIP students to study abroad and vice versa. Faculty of Law has developed with the improvement of the education system, the increase in number and quality of teaching staff, lecturers, as well as the increasing number of facilities and infrastructure supporting the education. Faculty of Economics and Business the faculty which has an international undergraduate program and Bloomberg Collaboratory facilities was ranked 501-550 in QS World University ranking by subject 2021. Faculty of Engineering also a home for research center such as Membrane Research Center and Center for Biomechanics, Biomaterial, Biomechatronics and Biosignal Processing. Faculty of Medicine is one of the best faculties at Universitas Diponegoro. Faculty of Medicine has complete laboratories which support the student practicum. Faculty of Medicine also become the important part of the establishment of Rumah Sakit Nasional Diponegoro RSND or Diponegoro National Hospital that belongs to Universitas Diponegoro. Faculty of Animal and Agricultural Science has transformed through sustainable concept and digitalization by the development of digital farming and sustainable livestock. Faculty of Humanities consists of several study programs, include literature, language, history, anthropology, libraries, philosophy, and archives. It has several language centers such as Indonesian, English, and Japanese, the Indonesian History Research Center, and Local Culture Preservation Research Center. Faculty of Social Science and Political Science. It has the International Relations Study Program that is well known amongst prospective students. Whereas the communication study program emphasizes collaborations with local and national mass media to channel the student talents by directly practicing it. Faculty of Science and Mathematics is a home for several research centers such as Center for Plasma Research that focus on the plasma application and Center of Marine Ecology, Biomonitoring and Sustainable Aquaculture that covers a various aspect of marine ecology. Faculty of Public Health aims to create graduates with good competency and skills in the public health. It's supported by academic and research activities that are intensively conducted in the area of occupational health and safety area. 
health promotion, stunting, and many others. The Faculty of Fisheries and Marine Science has vision to become an excellent faculty in the field of fisheries and marine tropical by 2024. It becomes the center for education, research, and community development for the coastal region. It has Center for Coastal Disaster Mitigation and Rehabilitation Studies and Natural Laboratory for Fisheries Study, Marine Conservation, and Biodiversity as well as Disaster Mitigation and Coastal Management and Rehabilitation. Faculty of Psychology Universitas Diponegoro also provides international exposure in the form of student exchange and summer course programs. School of Postgraduate Studies was established in order to respond to the global challenge with a multi- and interdisciplinary approach. In Vocational School Universitas Diponegoro, the students were educated with curriculums that is in line with the industrial needs. Apart from that, the Vocational School equipped with certified smart green building that use renewable energy as a power source along with water and wastewater treatment system for the water resources. Supporting the vision to become an excellent research university, UNDIP established the laboratory center with high-tech equipment, several research centers in the field of medicine, food technology, water and wastewater treatment, renewable energy development, health supporting technology, advanced material engineering, culture preservation, sustainable development and established marine science techno park for research and technology development in the field of marine and fisheries and the incubation for the startup business which is open for international and domestic student internship. UNDIP has various supporting facilities to provide excellent services in education as well research. International collaboration with hundreds of overseas top-ranked universities has established to support internationalization in research, academic, and community services programs. Undip! Undip!
1985, for the first time, we accepted new students from diploma to bachelor degree under the name of the Public Health Study Program, Faculty of Medicine, Universitas Diponegoro. In 1987, the Public Health Study Program began admitting students for the regular program for the first time. In 1993, the Public Health Study Program changed to the Faculty of Public Health based on the decree of the Minister of Education and Culture of the Republic of Indonesia, number 0369-0-1993, dated 21st November 1993. Faculty of Public Health Vision In the year of 2024, Faculty of Public Health becomes an excellent higher education institution in the field of public health in the international level. Faculty of Public Health are concerned in achieving the following objectives to obtain graduates who have the spirit of Pancasila, competent, have social awareness, and have the UNDIP's graduate profile that are complete and miracle. Complete, communicator, professional, leader, entrepreneur, thinker, educator, and miracle, manager, innovator, researcher, apprentice, communitarian, leader, and educator. To obtain innovative research and beneficial products to solve public health problems and to achieve world-class university. To obtain publications in reputable national and international journals, attainments in intellectual property rights that beneficial to the development of public health to support world-class university. To contribute in the public health problems solving in regional, national, and international level. To organize transparent and accountable public health higher education in accordance with applicable regulation supported by technology advances. To organize cooperation and partnership in education, research, publication, product innovation, and community services in public health aspects with public and private institutions in national and international level. The organizational structure in Faculty of Public Health Faculty Leaders The Dean The Vice Dean for Academic and Student Affairs The Vice Dean for Resources The study programs in Faculty of Public Health are Bachelor in Public Health Accredited as Excellent Master in Public Health Accredited as Excellent Master in Environmental Health Accredited as Excellent Master in Health Promotion Accredited as Excellent Doctor in Public Health Accredited as Excellent The implementation of the education program in the Faculty of Public Health is supported by lecturers from reputable universities Currently the faculty has 34 lecturers with doctoral degrees of 66 lectures with various scientific fields. They are Health Policy and Administration, Public Health Nutrition, Epidemiology and Tropical Diseases, Occupational Safety and Health, Environmental Health, Biostatistic and Population, and Health Promotion and Behavioral Sciences. In the learning process, the Faculty of Public Health is supported by education staff from various backgrounds, competences, and professionalism. The buildings in Faculty of Public Health are Building A, the Dean Building with two stories Building B, classrooms with three stories Building C, lecturer's room with two stories and meeting rooms, building D, secretariat room of graduate study programs, classrooms for graduate programs, computer laboratory,
public health laboratory, unit room of faculty supports, and hall. Building E, student activities room. Building F, student activity center, praying room, and canteen. Building G, secretariat room of undergraduate study programs, library, archive rooms, and student activities rooms and also other facilities such as canteen, futsal field, basketball field, volleyball field, and other sports facilities. To support student learning process, the Faculty of Public Health has six laboratories. Basic Biomedicine Laboratory, Environmental Health Laboratory, Occupational Safety and Health Laboratory, Epidemiology and Entomology Laboratory, Public Health Nutrition Laboratory, and Audiovisual Aids Laboratory. The Faculty of Public Health has accepted international students since 2016 for degree and non-degree programs in order to support Universitas di Ponogoro to be the world-class university. The non-degree programs, such as summer course program, internship program, joint research, and community services are followed by students from many countries such as Taiwan, Netherlands, Australia, Germany, China, Pakistan, Sudan, Libya, USA, Malaysia, Vietnam, Cambodia, Nigeria, and many more. Other international programs to support world-class university are visiting professors from overseas universities, International Conference on Public Health for Tropical and Coastal Development, Staff Exchange, Lecture Joint Research between universities and with international NGOs. Student Activities Internship Partnership with villages related to maternal health Field Study Practices Outbound Community Services Student Units Activities Research Center of Faculty of Public Health Research Center of Environment and Toxic Material Research Center of Neglected Tropical Diseases Research Center of Reproductive Health and HIV AIDS Research Center of Public Health Nutrition Research Center of Health Policy announcements to all participants please fill reg the registration form because there will be the requirement to get a certificate of this event the link will be sent in the room chat by the committee the participants must fill the registration and evaluation forms as those are the requirements to get a certificate of this event there will be quizzes for the participant and it's available to get prizes at the middle of this event. Our event will be starting soon. The participants' microphone need to remain muted during the main agenda to avoid the background noises. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Shalom, Om Swastiastu, and best regards for all of the audiences here. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Zafar Indra Santika from the Epidemiology and Tropical Disease of Public Health Faculty of Diponegoro University, 
will be your master of ceremony today. Before we get into the main agenda, let's pray toward God for letting us gather in today's event with a good and stable state of health. Praying sessions is beginning. Praying sessions is over. I would like to welcome Dr. Budiono MPH as the Dean of the Public Health of Diponegoro University. Selamat pagi, Bapak. Selamat pagi, Mas. Good morning, everybody, especially Dr. Zubaida. Good morning. Thank you very much for joining this Ethan, thank you. Thank you. And Dr. Insignor Martini Mkes, as the head of the Epidemiology and Tropical Disease Department. Selamat pagi, Bu. Good morning. Selamat pagi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And Dr. Zubaida binti Yaakob, from Haiko Tidrek, University Malaya, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Hi, everyone. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Dr. Good morning. Yeah, morning, everyone. Nice to meet you. And of course, I, I would like to say thank you and welcome to all of the audiences who has joining this webinar with the topic Arthropod prone disease, the role of black fly in public health. This event is conducted by the Department of Epidemiology and Tropical Disease, Faculty of Public Health, Universitas Diponegoro. Now, allow me to read our agenda today. The first agenda is the singing the national anthem, Indonesia Raya. The second is the reporting speech given by Ibu Nisa Kusaryana, MSE, as the leader of committee. Next is the opening speech from Bapak Dr. Budiono MPH as the Dean of Public Health of Diponegoro University. And the main event is the lecture session by Dr. Zubaida Binti Yaakob, followed by discussion and Q&A sessions and the closing event. The first agenda is the singing the national anthem. To operator in charge, please proceed.
Thank you. Moving to our second agenda is reporting committee from the leader of committee, Ibu Nisa Kusariana, MSc. Tum, Ibu Nisa, the time is yours. Okay, thank you, Zafar. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, uh, please be upon us all. The Honorable Dean of the Faculty of Public Health, Diponegoro University, Dr. Budiono S.M. Ingkas. The Honorable Speaker, Dr. Zubaidah Binti Yaakob from Center for Higher Institutional Excellence and Center for Tropical Infectious Disease Research and Education, University Malaya, Malaysia. The Honorable Head of Epidemiology and Tropical Diseases, who as the moderator of this event, Dr. Insinyur Martini Mkas, and all of participants of this event. First of all, let us give thanks for the presence of, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has given his blessing so that we can all be present here in healthy condition. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you, all participants who participated in this seminar, and welcome all participants who have been willing to attend the visiting professors Department of Epidemiology and Tropical Disease, Faculty of Public Health, Diponegoro University, with the topic Arthropod Burn Disease, the Role of Black Flies in Public Health. For information, the participants of this visiting professor from many institutions, such as Bachelor of Public Health Program students, Master of Public Health Program, Health Quarantine, practitioners and researchers and from many more institutions. Furthermore, I as the chairman of the committee would like to thank all parties who have supported and provided assistance to make this event a success. Like our team at this seminar, the entire discussion will be focused on the material to be delivered by Dr. Zubaida Binti Yaakob. So I hope that all participants will listen to this seminar material this time and get all of the uh, new uh, interesting knowledge, especially uh, from the arthropod burn disease. And I hope in the end of the presentation, all of participants get uh, active to the question and answer session and we have uh, some door prize, I think, uh, for the active participants. So you must join uh, from this session. I think uh, that was the welcome from me as the chairman of the committee in charge of the visiting professor, Department of Epidemiology and Tropical Disease, Faculty of Public Health, Diponegoro University. And I apologize if during the implementation of this event, there was any mistake. Thank you, and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Ibu Nisa, for the reporting speech. The next session is the opening speech from the Dean of the Public Health of Diponegoro University, Dr. Budiono, MPH. To Bapak Budiono, the time is yours. Uh, thank you very much, Mas Zahar Indra. Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, dear Head of Study Program, I mean Undergraduate Program of Public Health, Universitas Penegara, Profesor Dr. Zain Rahuluddin, Honorable Speaker Dr. Zubaida Binti Yaakob from University Malaya, uh, welcome to Faculty of Public Health, virtual land. And moderator, Dr. Martini from Department of Epidemiology and Tropical Disease, Faculty of Public Health, Universitas Diponegoro. And all of the participants uh, from undergraduate program, student from undergraduate program, also from the magister program and doctoral program, 
and also from the practitioner, uh, from the health agencies, and also researchers in health field, especially for the uh, entomology or uh, arthropod. Uh, welcome to the virtual meeting. Uh, uh, this event uh, was initiated by the Department of uh, Epidemiology and Tropical Disease, Faculty of Public Health, Sasti Ponegoro. And of course, I'm proud of you. First of all, let us uh, praise to Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, who has given us the son of our first until today. Alhamdulillah. And the topic and the role of black fly in public health is uh, very essential uh, very and very impressive for us. Uh, and it's, it's, it's the and I think it's the current issue in public health related to uh, black fly. And maybe uh, black fly, maybe we don't know much about it. Uh, especially me or uh, our student. Uh, so our flies is dangerous to health. We also uh, don't know yet uh, what this is, is uh, transmitted, where and when is it transmitted, and how does the black fly transmit the disease? Uh, and then the how to prevent or avoid it. I think the topic will explain clearly by Dr. Zubaita Binti Jacob. Uh, and I believe that uh, uh, Dr. Zubaita uh, really understand this uh, topic, especially arthrop arthrop arthropod, especially black fly and has a lot of experience regarding to the research uh, in black fly and in health, in public health, and especially. Uh, I think uh, Dr. Zubaita will give you another perspective about the significance of the black fly in uh, public health. And she will give a briefly explanation issues in black fly and public health. So uh, I hope uh, the participant can involve uh, actively and uh, ask so many questions uh, about the black fly and health, human health, especially in public health. Uh, I think uh, this uh, arthropod is uh, very important uh, and we have to know about it, especially for our student. Uh, I think that's uh, from uh, uh, my speech and thank you very much uh, for the uh, Dr. Zubaita Binti Yaakob and also and the participant and our colleagues uh, and the lecturer. Thank you very much uh, for joining this uh, uh, seminar and I hope the seminar will give us the, another perspective and uh, experiment, experience also knowledge in this field. Thank you very much. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Bapak Budionyo, for the inspiring opening speech. Before we get into the main event, please prepare your best look on the camera because we will get into the first photo sessions. Your time is one minute and it's ticking now.
Okay, for the photo sessions, I will count until three before the operator takes the picture. We will capture a twice picture for the sessions, so please stand by. Okay, for the first slide, uh, I will count until three. One, two, three. Okay, for the second slide. I also count until three. One, two, three. All right, for the three slide, I will count into until three. One, two, three. For the last slide, uh, I will count until three. One, two, three. Thanks for all the audience's enthusiasm. I hope your spirit will survive until the last second. Without any further ado, let me introduce, introduce you to our moderator today. Our moderator today is Ibu Martini. Recently, Ibu Martini has served as lecturer of Faculty of Public Health of the Ponegoro University and the head of Health Research Center Institute for Research and Community Service, the Ponegoro University. Ibu Martini also has served many research, among others, resistance statues of ideas and novelists against insect insecticide of organophosphate and right bionomic factor of dengue and an incidence of dengue and study of population of rodent and ectoparasite correlation with bacterial infections and human disease for ibu martini the time is yours Yes, thank you, uh, Jafar, SSMC uh, today. Yeah, uh, I'm a moder moderator uh, company, uh, Dr. Su. Yeah, because uh, in this time, uh, Dr. Su, main speaker, uh, as a vis uh, visiting program of our public health uh, faculty. Yeah. Assalamualaikum, Dr. Su. Waalaikumsalam, Ibu. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> Again, nice to meet. This, yeah, and this uh, meeting, yeah, uh, we met uh, before when I take, uh, took a program of staff, uh, staff exchange in the last year. Yeah. Uh, uh, before before uh, presentation of Dr. Su. Uh, the first, uh, please, I read uh, the biography of Dr. Su. Uh, Dr. Su is a senior lecturer uh, at Tropical Infection Disease Research uh, and Education uh, Center. Yeah, this is very, uh, yeah, a lot of <laughs> activity uh, you have at here. Yeah, maybe uh, the participant uh, 
in this Zoom can see about uh, her biography. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, he, her uh, main research uh, interest, uh, especially in the vector, yeah, and, and the epidemiology of the vector of uh, bone uh, and zoonotic uh, disease. Yeah, many uh, publish, uh, publish, uh, publish uh, the article. Her article, yeah, you can uh, all the participant can see in the uh, website of uh, yeah the article when you want to exploring about uh, her uh, publication uh, the uh, uh, Su publication. Yeah, uh, the detail maybe uh, Dr. Su. Uh, could uh, introduce uh, yourself, the, your activity, and the and the yeah, the wider of uh, activity uh, about uh, academic activity and the others uh, organization maybe yeah I can see in the organizations very yeah uh, very complete I think yeah and uh, I also be a member one uh, organization in Malaysia, such, uh, such as uh, Entoma, Entoma, Entoma organization. Entomological Society of Malaysia. Yeah, I be, yeah. Uh, yeah, I be a member of, uh, also in this uh, organization. Uh, and then uh, when we um, met together uh, at the, the what is it like a uh, integrated uh, laboratory uh, in UM University uh, Malaya yeah uh, the drugs yeah yeah uh, this is wonderful of laboratory yeah maybe uh, if there is a chance opportunity we can uh, visit uh, there Dr. So <laughs> yeah and then we uh, met together again um yeah, for short the time because uh, we should uh, finish at noon. So yeah, there is no long time uh, to introduce and and also uh, my uh, expression. Yeah, uh, Doctor Su wants to uh, do presentation about. Yeah, atrobot bone disease, uh, black flies rule in public health. Yeah, generally we uh, often discuss yeah the, uh, about uh, the atrobot atrobot uh, bone disease about the mosquito, but uh, the uh, the flies is very yeah not very frequent as well as uh, the mosquito. So in this time we can uh, yeah we can uh, study we can learn. Uh, your experience about uh, the subject, uh, the black, the black fly, yeah, and uh, about the uh, this, this is uh, the insect, yeah, just um, just suck the blood from the human, uh, but also uh, the flies can uh, transmit, yeah, uh, the pathogenic uh, agent to the human. Maybe we can, we can, uh, yeah, hear about about the uh, explanation and experience uh, from Doctor Sveda. Uh, maybe you can uh, provide. Uh, it can be mixed bahasa, yeah, can bahasa <laughs> Malayu because we know that uh, Malaysia is yeah our family too, <laughs> yeah, uh, because. Uh, we nearest it to uh, yeah one is other uh, and then yeah uh, the time for presentation about uh, one or half and then a half for uh, discussion yeah okay uh, time is yours Doctor Su thank you okay um, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim um, should I um, share my screen dulu kan yeah, boleh. Okay, my is yeah, uh, for your own. Okay, okay, I share. Oh yeah, okay. So um okay, um terima kasih uh, Dr. Budiono uh, selaku uh, ketua uh, fakulti 
public health, uh, Dr. Martini uh, dan semua komiti-komiti member yang uh, menganjurkan uh, visiting professor uh, program. This is a very nice uh, program. Uh, actually, we can we can we can take this good idea also to 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 do in our university or T track. So um, okay, um, before I uh, go to my uh, first slide, I would like to introduce myself as Dr. Martini mentioned just now. Uh, uh, saya Dr. Zubaida Yaakob, uh, sangat baru dalam uh, perkhidmatan sebagai pensyarah di Universiti Malaya. I start in 2017, so not yet uh, achieved five years, so I'm very young in service. But uh, for the uh, black fly research, kita dah mula uh, kumpulan uh, black fly di Asia telah bermula uh, sekitar tahun uh, 2009 bermula di Universiti Malaya dengan uh, kedatangan kita menjemput satu um, profesor emeritus uh, Hiroyuki Takauka from uh, University of Oita Japan is a expert in black fly uh, taxonomy to identify identifikasi black fly hanya uh, melalui Prof Takauka uh, sebelum ni so kita menjemput Prof Takauka datang ke UM uh, Universiti Malaya untuk um, uh, mengajar saya pada time uh, masa tu saya adalah PhD student so uh, menurunkan ilmu dan kita mulakan uh, eksplorasi black fly di seluruh Asia Tenggara dan um, itu adalah uh, my main uh, research interest but now uh, dah dah um, uh, bila dah berada di dalam T track saya telah di uh, uh, apa tu uh, Kepak, uh, research area telah dikembangkan uh, kepada beberapa uh, vektor lain seperti uh, utu, uh, ticks, chigers, mites, uh, um, kita panggil hama, uh, kutu hama, uh, uh, sand flies and then bite images. Uh, these all are the uh, uh, neglected uh, arthropod diseases, uh, what we call it as a uh, neglected uh, because many of us is uh, uh, give focus on uh, mosquitoes. So sebab itulah I'm in the uh, area of neglected uh, arthropod bone diseases. So uh, black fly one of the uh, uh, neglected in our region, not in Africa, but in uh, Asia region. So then uh, uh, baru-baru ni, um, uh, kita, uh, saya juga telah uh, ber, uh, terlibat dalam uh, research um, untuk detection of a pathogen from uh, wild animals. This is uh, after the uh, pandemic uh, COVID-19. Uh, pihak kami, T-Track, telah diberi tanggungjawab untuk menjalankan satu kajian secara besar-besaran untuk uh, menyediakan uh, satu platform sebagai uh, persediaan menghadapi the next pandemic. So, uh, in this project, kita telah terlibat uh, apa uh, dengan uh, uh, berbagai jenis uh, wildlife termasuk tikus macam Dr Martini you have done a lot of tikus kan rats uh, rodentia wild boar uh, small mammals big mammals so semua kita semua we go and check for for we, we took the blood and then all the organs to screen for the uh, pathogen so we 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 gonna have a big uh, database uh, for the pathogen uh, in Malaysia including Sabah and Sarawak so that's all. That's uh, a bit about my research. So I shall go to my first slide now. Uh, so topic pada hari ini adalah um, arthropod bone disease, arthropod bone disease, uh, black fly role in uh, public health. So um, boleh ya? Eh? Boleh tengok? Boleh nampak semua? So yeah. macam mana? Yeah, clear dah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. So um, yeah, saya daripada Tropical Infectious Disease yeah, Research and Education Center ataupun dikenali sebagai T-Track, University Malaya. Uh, so PR center kami adalah center yang menyediakan uh, 90% uh, research dan 10% pengajaran. So okay. Um, hmm. yeah. Okay, this is uh, what is... Uh, First, first thing, uh, black fly, uh, kita kena tahu uh, dulu uh, onkosekaisis sebelum kita masuk kepada uh, apa tu, apa itu black fly. So, um, uh, I think uh, most of us uh, in public health already uh, known about river blindness ataupun human onkosekaisis. 
This is an uh, infectious disease. Uh, laku uh, banyak di uh, Sub-Saharan Africa, Yemen dengan uh, uh, South America. So, uh, uh, um, lebih kurang, now the number is increased, not 20.9 million already, but maybe increased to 30 million people got infected uh, through uh, infected. They, 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 they had skin disease. I mean, uh, kulit dia um, gatal dan berubah kepada uh, menjadi tidak normal. Um, dan berlaku kedutan-kedutan pada kulit disebabkan oleh uh, cacing uh, yang dikenali sebagai ongkur sekar, volvulus. This is filaria. So, um, dan uh, vektor adalah uh, uh, yang uh, kita kenali sebagai black fly adalah merupakan vektor. Vektor, uh, you know the meaning of vektor, uh, dia wajib uh, mengisap darah uh, manusia ataupun haiwan untuk teruskan kehidupan, kelas, uh, untuk terus hidup dan mematangkan telur dia. So, so far the on uh, onkosekaisis hanya boleh dirawat melalui uh, pil ivermectin. There's no uh, vaccine available, effective vaccine available so far. But now we are looking for it. And uh, I think uh, CDREC also involved uh, as one of the uh, member, part of the uh, member of uh, research for the uh, oncosakaisis vaccine in Africa. So uh, this is the geographic. Um, Um, I don't know how to um, how to um, disappear this thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is the geographical distribution of human onchocerciasis. You can see uh, the uh, bahagia yang diwarnakan the warna biru dan kelabu itu adalah. Uh, kawasan-kawasan yang mengalami penyakit yang uh, mencatatkan penyakit uh, human onchocerciasis dan uh, ini adalah uh, peta yang diambil daripada WHO 2019 uh, yang menunjukkan uh, uh, implementasi the ivermectin so negara-negara uh, di South America di South America and then uh, uh, sub-Saharan Africa dan Yemen juga dekat sini so uh, 30 million people got infected and then um, majority of them uh, akhirnya akan mengalami kebutaan disebabkan oleh cacing tersebut. Okay, let me share again. Okay, this is the symptoms. Uh, once the uh, cacing uh, onkosoka volvulus uh, that I mentioned just now uh, masuk ke badan manusia melalui gigitan uh, lalat hitam, uh, um, the, the lava, the microfilaria yang dibawa oleh uh, lalat hitam tu ke badan manusia akan bergerak melalui uh, bawah kulit. Di bawah kulit dia akan um, bergerak ke serata badan manusia dan mencari tempat yang sesuai untuk bersarang. So bila uh, apabila uh, dia dah jumpa satu tempat like we saw kat, kat sini kita nampak kan ini ada membentuk nodule, kat sini pun di sebelah kepala ni ada nodule, di bawah teling, belakang telinga pun ada nodule juga. So apabila cacing mikrofilaria onkoserka ni telah tersebar ke seluruh badan manusia melalui gigitan nyamuk lalat hitam tadi, dia akan mencari satu kawasan dalam badan manusia untuk uh, apa tu berumah. Berumah dan uh, bila dia berumah, uh, uh, settle down uh, some, somewhere inside your body, uh, dia akan membentuk nodule. Not dalam nodule tu terdapat uh, cacing uh, uh, apa tu mikrofilaria uh, Uh, gender female and male, male and male, uh, several numbers of them in one nodule. So dalam satu nodule tu dia akan berkembang daripada dia akan berkembang daripada lava stage 1 kepada lava stage 2 dan uh, lava stage 3. So uh, bila uh, dah mencapai uh, uh, cacing sebagai cacing dewasa, dia akan menghasilkan lagi uh, dia akan mating dan menghasilkan lebih banyak lagi mikrofilaria dan mikrofilaria tu sendiri akan tahu dah dia punya uh, uh, apa, responsibility of mikrofilaria dia akan berenang ke bawah kulit lagi untuk menyenangkan black fly untuk menghisap darah dan bila black fly menghisap darah cacing mikrofilaria tu akan masuk balik ke dalam black fly dan black fly tu menyediakan satu tempat untuk cacing tu uh, membesar daripada mikrofilaria kepada lava 
pada larva uh, larva uh, stage uh, stage uh, berapa tadi pada larva uh, ni uh, yang uh, diperlukan black fly tanpa black fly uh, uh, mikrofilar uh, mikrofilaria dalam badan ni akan mati okay uh, so this is uh, the process of um, keluarkan uh, nodule daripada kepala pesakit we call it as a nodule lectomy of the patient this is uh, the picture uh, from my uh, teacher from Takauka when they are doing research in Guatemala in uh, 1980 something. So as you can see kat sini, this is the nodule and then the, the cacing dewasa yang dikeluarkan daripada nodule bukan hanya satu tapi dia ada mungkin dua, tiga, empat dan berbeza jantina, jantan dan betina. Nodule second. Then uh, this is the ben, uh, bentuk cacing uh, up dewasa. So uh, you can see kat sini kan, this is eyeball. Eyeball. Then uh, uh, kita uh, fokus kepada apa tu, uh, putih di sini. Ini adalah uh, pergerakan cacing uh, mikrofilaria ke mata. Dan mikrofilaria ni bila sampai ke mata, dia tak boleh nak ke mana-mana dah. Dia akan mati di situ dan akan membentuk tisu-tisu mati macam ni. Bila dah sampai masa dia, dia tak boleh nak bergerak ke tempat lain-lain lagi. Dia akan uh, mati. Dan bila mati, dia akan membentuk tisu. Tisu ni tisu ni tak boleh nak dikeluarkan satu-satu. Dia akan, because a lot of mikrofilaria, maybe millions, thousands, million mikrofilaria akan bergerak at the same time under your skin and then to your eye. And then uh, bila kat skin, dia akan gatal lah. Gatal, 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 garu sampai luka, sampai berkedut, sampai berubah color uh, kulit kita kan. So uh, bila sampai mata, uh, you cannot do anything. Uh, dia akan uh, tunggu mati je kat mata tu. Dan uh, bila mati, dia akan membentuk tisu-tisu mati di mata. The black tissue, uh, the, the, the dead tissues kat mata ni, uh, uh, warna putih ni. Lama-lama dia akan, lama kelamaan, dia, uh, tisu mati ni akan bertambah, bertambah, bertambah dan menutup pandangan manusia, pandangan pesakit itu sendiri. So inilah disebabkan oleh ke kebutaan kekal. So impossible to uh, uh, take this one by one out from your eye. So that's why lah uh, sampai sekarang uh, pesakit yang telah mengalami kebutaan kekal menjadi buta sebab tiada rawatan untuk pulihkan uh, penglihatan dia. So this is uh, the cacing uh, mikrofilaria tu. Uh, this is mikrofilaria. Uh, uh, you can see that this is the dewasa cacing uh, adult. Uh, yang sudah besar mencapai tahap matang L3 this is 0.1 mm so this is mikrofilaria very small you have to see under microscope lah so this is larva stage 1 larva stage 2 and larva stage 3 so this is uh, let me so uh, explain again the process of how cacing uh, cacing uh, how cacing um Ongkos serka uh, tersebar daripada lalat hitam kepada badan ke dalam badan manusia. Okey kita mulakan di sini. Kita mulakan di uh, di uh, uh, black fly dewasa. Um, sebenarnya dia macam you nak mulakan uh, daripada manusia pun boleh, uh, daripada cacing pun, uh, daripada black fly pun boleh. Okey tapi kita kita um, mulakan dengan uh, jangkit uh, jangkitan dari sini belah kiri ni. Uh, black fly ni dia menghisap darah darah manusia yang telah dijangkiti darah manusia manusia yang telah dijangkiti dan dalam badan dalam badan manusia tu dia, dia menghasilkan mikrofilaria dan ada mikrofilaria tu telah berada di bawah kulit okey kita imagine that imagine that situation so uh, black fly ni akan pergi menghisap darah tu sebab ini menjadi satu kewajipan untuk black fly betina untuk menghisap darah bagi mematangkan dia punya apa tu uh, telur So uh, bila dia menghisap darah uh, manusia yang telah uh, dijangkiti dia darah darah akan masuk ke badan dia bersama-sama dengan mikrofilaria. So mikro, uh, mikrofilaria ni akan uh, berada dalam badan uh, uh, dari, akan bergerak daripada mulut ke abdomen. So this is uh, apa tu kebijaksanaan uh, black uh, mikrofilaria tu sendiri dia tahu dia tak boleh nak hidup. They cannot survive in the abdomen they have to move quickly to the thorax. So, they, they akan bergerak ramai-ramai, millions of them akan bergerak ramai-ramai kepada thorax. This is tempat dia nak settle down. Settle down mean rumah dia yang uh, boleh menyediakan satu uh, condition, kondisi yang terbaik untuk larva stage 1 berkembang menjadi larva stage 3, develop into L3. So, in the thorax. 
bila dah uh, in the thorax uh, it takes um, uh, i think uh, ab about uh, maximum uh, three weeks or up to two to three weeks or one month is uh, there's no clear information on how 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 many different uh, onkosuka they, they require di uh, different timing lah untuk uh, berkembang daripada L1 kepada L3 ni so bila dah okey kita bila cacing ni telah uh, berkembang menjadi larva stage 3 maknanya dia telah besar maksimum dia dah ready untuk keluar daripada badan black fly ni oleh itu dia akan bergerak ke salivary gland so bila dia dah berada di salivary gland dalam bentuk i'm ready uh, i'm uh, in action ha uh, dia just tunggu black fly ni pergi hisap darah untuk kali seterusnya mungkin dia uh, black fly ni tak tahu kan siapa um, manusia mana yang dah positif uh, infected manusia mana yang belum infected so they go to every every human being yang dia uh, animal ataupun human dia tak kisah so that that's why lah uh, dia jadi infectious so mungkin dia pergi ke manusia yang belum dijangkiti dan dia menghisap darah dalam masa dalam proses menghisap darah ni pula uh, uh, cacing ni akan masuk balik ke badan manusia manusia uh, dan manusia tu akan dijangkiti lah kalau manusia yang telah dijangkiti dijangkiti kali kedua lagi banyak lah uh, dia punya uh, mikrofila ada dalam badan dan kalau manusia tu belum dijangkiti maknanya dia terima satu penyakit baru dan uh, tak millions of apa uh, tu uh, uh, lava L3 akan masuk ke dalam badan manusia dan uh, cari macam uh, saya cakap tadi uh, settle down uh, cari tempat untuk settle down dalam badan manusia sehingga dia 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 ready untuk mating dan menghasilkan lebih banyak mikrofilaria. Oleh itu macam uh, kesimpulan dia manusia ni adalah satu satu host untuk um, uh, apa tu multiply multiply di uh, uh, parasites. But manakala uh, black fly host black fly vector ni adalah sebagai uh, vektor sebagai sebagai uh, perumah bagi uh, larva tu untuk membesar dalam kata lain uh, uh, the epidemiology of onchocerciasis they need human and black fly without black fly kita tak tahu dia, uh, dia tak boleh nak dia tak boleh nak berkembang daripada L1 ke L3 so far we, kita tak pernah tahu uh, onchocerciasis species ni boleh uh, develop in other in other insect other than black fly lah. So black fly is very important kat sini in the public health of uh, onchocerciasis. So uh, this is a bit sharing uh, as what uh, Dr. Martini mentioned to me uh, just to uh, share, uh, share something like uh, my recent uh, project, my recent activity. Uh, uh, in uh, So my recent activity is in on onchocerciasis. Saya telah um, uh, uh, dijemput untuk uh, menyertai sal sal uh, satu tim yang um, tim di Afrika kita uh, tim uh, untuk bertujuan untuk uh, mengevaluasi nak evaluate the screening tool I mean uh, detection tool of onkosuka in black fly population why uh, because uh, because uh, we have no effective vaccine uh, up to today so that's why kita uh, what we can do is to uh, to do is a uh, Uh, mengawal populasi vektor. So macam mana how we do the vector control uh, by doing the uh, surveillance on the uh, parasites of uh, black fly every uh, schedule uh, surveillance to see the rates of the uh, onkoserka dalam badan uh, tu uh, sama ada berada pada tahap rendah ataupun tahap uh, uh, apa tu masih tinggi. So uh, I I was uh, in Africa uh, from January to July. Uh, so this is the area Cameroon, uh, our field site kat sini sampling site. So um, um, this is a sampling site lah. So our collaborator for this project include me from T-Track. Kita ada the from Liverpool, uh, Dr Benjamin McPeace dengan John, Dr John from uh, University of Liverpool as well as the uh, the provider of the Uh, penyedia uh, apa tu uh, the the tool the diagnostic tool tu, the detection tool we use the uh, uh, molecular tools that lebih simple lebih 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 uh, mesra untuk negara yang uh, uh, macam Afrika because uh, we cannot simply do the PCR ataupun qPCR dekat uh, di uh, lapangan uh, seperti di Afrika because of the uh, resource poor kan okay? 
So we we come develop something very uh, handy, very fast uh, untuk uh, uh, untuk setengah penyakit. So kita uh, buat uh, trial test uh, dekat field test in Cameroon. So uh, this is um, looking for um, positive control. So uh, we 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 go for positive human as well as kita pergi juga kepada animals. Tapi uh, ungkus sekar ciunggi dalam animal, ungkus sekar vulgaris dalam uh, human. Ungkus sekar ciunggi ni uh, dia punya beza dengan ungkus sekar vulgaris is very small. So uh, as a positive control, kita can use uh, ungkus sekar uh, ciunggi juga. So ciunggi uh, very uh, the 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 strain is very very uh, Uh, near to volvulus. So dan tak perlu kita um, apa tu buat skin snake pada manusia lah sebab memerlukan etika etik-etik yang uh, lebih uh, complicated. So this is the, the lapangan, kerja lapangan, uh, field collect, uh, collection, uh, black fly collection um, uh, di lapangan. Uh, so we use the uh, um, uh, kettle uh, untuk invite the black fly population to come and then uh, We collect, uh, we collected five uh, thousand black fly a day. There's so many black fly in there. So, uh, kita kita uh, bring sample back to the laboratory. Uh, we do the uh, uh, standard procedure, do the extraction, do the uh, the DNA. We use uh, uh, to test for uh, using the uh, lamb assay, uh, the, the 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 novel diagnostic tool that I mentioned just now. So uh, we we I, 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 we also uh, uh, have this opportunity to share our um, skills dengan the local these two locals these two staff from uh, Cameroon Center of Research Agriculture di Wakwa ni Iraq ni. So uh, during the 2020 March to May is a uh, uh, they uh, did each the uh, pandemic and then lockdown also in Cameroon so. Uh, saya terpaksa bawa uh, the last day uh, this is uh, on the left side ni kan uh, the local staff yang uh, setiap hari uh, work with me untuk go to the lapangan dan uh, menangkap. Eh, uh, Dr. Zubaida, yeah? I think there is uh, some problem with your voice in here. It's a little bit like the interruptions. Oh, okay. Uh, since when should I? Um, should uh, I just about a minute ago? <laughs> oh, a minute ago. Should I? Uh, yeah. Remove. Uh, backward like this. Ah uh, yes, okay. this one. This one. Okay. Ah, yeah. uh, ini Thank adalah you. makmal yang uh, kami gunakan di uh, Cameroon, ah uh, di Iraq ni. So, ah, uh, Iraq juga saya sebagai wakilah uh, telah berkongsi skill uh, pengesanan ah uh, uh, parasit dalam ah uh, black fly kepada dua uh, staff ah uh, mereka. So now. Sekarang ni, uh, the, the the activity is still continue, but uh, uh, these two uh, staff ni uh, yang uh, meneruskan uh, surveillance of parasite dalam black fly menggunakan kaedah yang kita kenalkan pada dalam projek ni. So, uh, um, you know, uh, 2020 kita semua menghadapi satu pandemik dan lockdown. So di Cameroon juga telah diisytiharkan uh, pandem, uh, lockdown pada March until May. So saya telah diarahkan untuk membawa semua kelengkapan makma balik ke rumah. Nasib baiklah rumah tu macam uh, besar sikit saiz dia dan kita divide one side untuk laboratory, one side untuk makma as a house, as a tempat untuk uh, yalah, uh, sebagai rumah. So alhamdulillah uh, projek ni telah berjaya disiapkan pada bulan uh, Mei Jun. So I I came back on uh, July. So uh, alhamdulillah semua berjalan lancar uh, walaupun pandemik kita telah berjaya dibawa baliklah. So uh, this is a collaborator local collaborator di sana Dr. Bah and then all the veterinarian veterinarian dia and then uh, hari tak 
Okay, uh, that's a bit. Itu itu uh, sedikit uh, uh, recap of what what I've been doing uh, during, uh, in 2020, the the most recent international punya uh, activity. Tapi kita balik balik kepada Blackfly. Okay, uh, mungkin uh, semua orang uh, masih belum mengenali Blackfly. So saya ingin berkongsi mengenai biology of Blackfly di sini. Uh, melihat kepada sungai-sungai uh, di atas ni, gambar sungai-sungai ni. Uh, ini adalah ni uh, gambar di sebelah tepi ni uh, the waterfall the nice waterfall siapa boleh kenal ini waterfall di mana uh, saya masih ingat ini adalah the best waterfall i found in indonesia uh, i forgot the the area uh, but it's the best in my life lah and a lot of black fly here uh, uh, during this visit uh, 2000 uh, 2000 2017 like Ya. Yeah. So um, um, seperti uh, air terjun tadi, uh, sungai 1 2 3 di atas ni ini adalah habitat black fly. Ingat black fly uh, seperti tidak sedikit pun seperti nyamuk nyamuk-nyamuk edis lah. Yang ber, nyamuk edis bertelur dalam air bertakung, stagnant waters, still waters. But black fly is very fancy. It's very um, very what we have they, they required a clean water running water high oxygen uh, no pollution so itulah sungai uh, habitat black fly di mana sungai tersebut juga menjadi uh, uh, sumber air manusia so if black fly uh, menyebabkan penyakit di satu, di kawasan kita di kawasan di, di negara Indonesia ataupun di Malaysia is very difficult to to uh, hapuskan black fly sebab habitat dia adalah sungai punca air minum kita. So that's that's the the thing lah, the, the most important thing that we should know. So you can see the the picture on the below, on the left side ini kan yang panjang dua ni, ini adalah lava black fly 1 mm. This is one of the larvae uh, lava. Uh, uh, lava dia ada beberapa instars from uh, very small up to 1 mm uh, as in size. So in the middle picture yang very nice ni, this is a species, pupa. Pupa, this species we collected from Indonesia as well. You can see the crown is very, very interesting. For, for those yang interested in uh, art sciences, uh, entomology or whatever, this is a very, very nice uh, insect you can see under the microscope. Because it's, it has, a, dia ada pelbagai bentuk pelbagai uh, rupa, pelbagai numbers of uh, gill. Kita, kalau kita nampak di sini ada uh, macam rambut ni. Ini kita panggil gill filament. So gill filament ni dia membentuk uh, branching like trees. Ada dua dua branching sahaja sampai yang paling banyak ada dalam beratus uh, uh, branching. So this is adult black fly. Adult black fly. Uh, this is also I think uh, if I'm not mistaken, we collected from Indonesia. So, so adult black fly. Dia tak sama macam. Uh, dia tak sama like uh, uh, lalat lalat rumah lain. Bukan. No. Uh, the maximum size uh, uh, so far uh, under my uh, study. Okay. They they not they not more than um, they not more than uh, three to six mm sahaja. It's very small. Is a uh, ten uh, twenty times less uh, smaller than compared to uh, apa tu lalat lalat rumah uh, muska domestika yang you tengok biasa tu kan? Uh, it's a, a very small. You can ID what identifikasi must have microscope, a very good microscope. So uh, this is uh, again the apa tu life cycle of black fly uh, from adult. They uh, they they akan bertelur. Then this is a uh, apa tu a uh, beberapa lava uh, instars uh, instars ni uh, dia, dia bergantung uh, depend on species some, some of them uh, ada 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 ada 7 instars but some of them are uh, got 10 11 instars so this is pupa pupa this is a uh, uh, live pupa um, or, uh, original picture how they attach to these uh, apa substrates uh, adults so okay, very simple. This, but they are having a complete uh, life cycle. Hello, uh, what we call it is a holo metabolus. Uh, okay. So just sharing something. Uh, uh, this is a dipteran insect of medical importance that I mentioned. Uh, this is tabanic. 
how you how you uh, identify black fly. This is all diphtheria. So for those young uh, untuk uh, undergraduate students, I always show them uh, this picture. Um, cuba teka mana black fly. Uh, that's the my 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 common question lah. So semua orang akan uh, membuat tekaan masing-masing dan kebanyakannya uh, ada yang betul, ada yang salah lah. So how how we how how to uh, identify black fly uh, untuk uh, menggunakan karakter uh, yang very simple kita tengok kepada perbezaan antena sahaja. So in the middle is a black fly. So you can see on the right the the largest the biggest uh, picture kat sini kan this tabani day. So you can you can go to the eye fly and then mosquito ada uh, antena macam ni and then uh, um, apa tu uh, biting midges they are different. So it's very easy to ID uh, black fly at first. This is not to ID species, tapi untuk bezakan black fly dengan uh, species-species lain. So this is uh, the complexity of, jangan takut, this is the complexity to uh, the character or the, the morphology character that we use to ID black fly uh, using adult fly. So character tu ada di kepala, ada di uh, thorax, ada di uh, reproductive organ, ada di legs, ada di uh, apa tu, uh, claw dia. So this, I'm not going to uh, share this uh, in uh, deep lah because uh, this is too complex. So this is a pupa as I mentioned just now. Dia ada berbagai bentuk uh, kekun. We call it kekun on on top ni yang, yang menutup yang menutup pupa sebenar di dalam tu. Kekun ke atas ni. Kekun ni ada pelbagai bentuk. Ada like crown, ada like uh, boot shape, ada like uh, simple shape, ada like shoe shape. Uh, macam kasut tu kan. Kalau tengok daripada tepi dia macam kasut, dia macam crown semua ada. And then uh, uh, they also can be differentiated uh, by the uh, gill filament. We call it as a gill filament, macam rambut kiri dan kanan ni sama. They are identical uh, in numbers, kiri dan kanan. Tapi uh, between species, they having a different, different, different um, uh, numbers and branching method. So um, okay, that's a very uh, a first uh, first um, surface of uh, morphotaxonomic characters of this is morphotaxonomy for for larva black fly also kita ada beberapa uh, characters untuk id species yeah of course it's very complicated those yang berminat dengan taxonomy sahaja yang kita akan train untuk for them to go further lah. those yang hanya dalam public health untuk detect the pathogen they are just uh, they, they don't have to uh, to do id but go to find experts untuk uh, do the species identifikasi. So this is uh, how uh, lava black fly di dalam air. Dia uh, lava black fly dia perlu attach, dia perlu melekat pada substrate. Kebanyakannya dia akan melekat pada batu lah yang lebih lebih stabil, uh, more stable substrates like uh, stones, bedrocks ataupun uh, yang tak stabil macam uh, uh, dead apa daun-daun mati di dalam air akar-akar ataupun apa-apa sahaja apa sarap ya apa tu apa-apa uh, yang um, berada dalam air dia jadikan substrate so they can they can attach on the substrate so ada species yang boleh hidup di air yang sangat mengalir laju ada yang hidup di air yang sangat perlahan very low oxygen so it's depend on species lah different different biology of different species so the ecology uh, we must know that uh, black fly boleh hidup di semua serata negara kecuali Antartika yang uh, kemungkinan uh, tak ada air sungai kan mungkin yang tak ada running waters dan black fly juga dia boleh jadikan indicator species sebabkan the uh, aquatic stages dia tu they can occur in uh, abundance so that they can be used as a indicator to uh, unpolluted streams so those yang uh, in ecology so they, 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 they can study more on this because different species require different uh, ecology of streams but uh, most uh, but all of them require oxygen uh, flowing dekat uh, terpulanglah flowing tu laju ke uh, perlahan then there also keystone species keystone what we call it, what, what we uh, mentioned pasal keystone ni adalah the larvae can occur millions dalam satu kawasan per hectare uh, meter square tu they can occur millions. So dia, dia menjadi makanan kepada hidupan aquatic yang lain macam ikan, uh, ketam, udang, whatever. They, so they, they provide food. They, they are also very important dalam uh, food, food webs. So okay, um, we go to the next. Um,
This is the original thing. We we uh, work with um, yeah, dekat Malaysia, of course lah. Kita work uh, 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 our team in uh, in uh, Sabah, Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, Sarawak. So we have team also in Vietnam, Indonesia. As uh, I mentioned, we work with Dr. Upi, uh, Professor Upi. We yeah, ada Dr. Professor Wayan Suwana daripada Mataram University. Kita ada several other people also daripada uh, uh, Kalimantan. Kita, we have been visited a lot of places in uh, Indonesia for taxonomy untuk tahu the biodiversity. So uh, we 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 are, we are the, uh, member in Thailand, uh, Chiang Mai dengan Mahasarakam. Uh, this is uh, we we keep, uh, di Nepal, US. We are the Clemson Professor Adler di Clemson. So we work with everybody lah untuk uh, study black fly. So uh, black fly sahaja sebagai satu uh, reason to do more research collaboration, to do PhD, to do masters, to do whatever you like, but using black fly. That's my my. Uh, my principle. So um, what we have been uh, collecting uh, around um, uh, Australia, Asia termasuk uh, dekat oriental dengan Australasian region. So um, we have uh, 122 uh, species in uh, Indonesia, uh, 95 di Malaysia, 48 Vietnam dan 99 in Thailand. So this number is not is uh, uh, the, the the last we update uh, uh 2000 um, 2019 the last uh, we visit uh, all these countries so uh, we have been featured dalam uh, beberapa ni jugaklah untuk memperkenalkan untuk promosi promosi uh, black fly sebagai satu research yang menarik uh, uh, dan uh, telah diterbitkan di uh, uh, science news uh, we discover 1011 and 1000 <laughs> 111 new species uh, in the Oriental region. So thank you to Professor Hiroki Takauka as a leader of this uh, team. So uh, okay, um, this is um, the numbers uh, we collected uh, from um, Oriental region. So I I want to I want to share. Kat sini Indonesia 10 species lah semasa projek kami berjalan tahun 2000, 2009 until uh, 2019. So 132 species uh, telah dijumpai uh, di di kawasan-kawasan yang dinyatakan ni. So uh, this is uh, pasal mengenai uh, so, um, this is uh, the 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 publication from uh, Prof Upik dengan Prof Takauka the Piracy of Black Fly Indonesia for those yang interested nak know about how uh, the distribution how many species so telah diterbitkan pada tahun 2018. This is the last, uh, uh, apa tu? Uh, last, uh, uh, the latest publication lah. Uh, so after that, no more. So we 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 perhaps uh, menunggu anak-anak uh, yang bar, bar, uh, master student, PhD student yang berminat untuk ni mungkin boleh menyambung uh, uh, ni lah research. So uh, Indonesia, as I mentioned. Uh, Hampir keseluruhan telah di, telah di, dilawati lah uh, Indonesia uh, apa tu uh, Jawa Barat Jawa Timur uh, Kalimantan uh, Barat Kalimantan Timur um, Sulawesi um, Flores uh, Sumatera as well pun dah pergi. Cuma uh, only on biodiversity. We kita nak tahu apa black fly sahaja yang ada di sekitar Indonesia. Tiada lagi in depth study conducted in Indonesia so far. So we need someone from Indonesia to keep going to this research because it's very interesting. So to make it more interesting, I just want to share some some, uh, some scientific publication came from Black Fly. So this is taxonomy from Protakauka. We, we Protakauka providing this revision for, for us, for future generation who are interested. Lah. Uh, and then this also from Protakoka in Oriental Region, uh, Revision, Taxonomy. This is uh, my publication uh, last uh, in 2016. Uh, I, this is my first um, uh, uh, attempt to do the distribution pattern. want to see the distribution uh, black fly dekat Malaysia. So uh, this is also nak tahu uh, species apa uh, hidup di habitat jenis apa so we do the second uh, investigation in 2016 as well. 
So uh, uh, this is that uh, molecular ecology. So that's why I said so many things can be uh, can be done with black fly kan. Uh, mengikut kepada this uh, mengikut kepada minat lah masing-masing. Um, then uh, maklumat maklumat molekul ekologi taksonomi uh, ekologi sangat penting It's sebagai satu pendedahan awal kepada all the public health punya uh, practitioners untuk study more in detail in detail how the how the the uh, black fly uh, play a role in uh, apa tu uh, disease transmission then um, yeah we are providing the baseline data for public health So uh, this is also molecular ecology. Our team um uh select up to uh has it then uh you can you can get uh this all these uh scientific uh put to uh publication uh in my Google Scholar. If not that you can just email me uh or ask for specific publication if you're interested. Okay? So uh this is the recent one that we try to do um it's a try do the culturable bacteria the dalam black fly. Uh We are we also doing the uh, uh the complete microbiome as well. Uh, cuma uh not yet published. So this is uh what we what we found in black fly. Boleh dapati di di publication ni lah. So black fly not not harbor only uh parasites but other bacteria as well. Uh, and then bacteria that pathogenic to uh animal or human also detected dalam black uh black fly rupanya. Um, so you can read further lah uh the uh, publication ni if you're interested. So uh, this is uh, banyak lagi new species yang kita uh, masa uh, ekspedisi pencarian biodiversity black fly tu we found uh, numbers of new species so with uh, Prof Takoka described uh, then uh, as a achievement lah. Uh, so this also uh, okay we come to a uh, uh, main uh, uh, main uh, information black fly as public health threat uh, if, if you can see the uh, You can see the background here. This is the real uh, Uncusaca volvulus collected from human when I uh, start when I uh, during my sampling in Cameroon. So uh, this is uh, my best picture that I have so far. So this is microfilaria, very small. So I make it a big here. Okay, why we have to study black fly? Because one uh, reason because of black fly is a, a vector of human Uncusacaisis. Not only onchocerciasis, black fly also vector to zoonotic onchocerciasis. What is zoonotic onchocerciasis? Other species, selain daripada onchocerca volvulus yang uh, pathogenic to human, uh, there are other onchocerca species that are pathogenic to animals, and then they can be accidentally transferred to human and then create the nodule in human. So, uh, okay, kita tengok dulu apa lagi parasite-parasite uh, uh, lain dengan uh, dengan uh, apa tu uh, parasite lain yang disebarkan oleh black fly we have dirofilaria onchocerca kat sini onchocerca juga deer cattle onchocerca duite japonica dalam wild boar this is dalam uh, haiwan ni they can be accidentally uh, transferred to human but maybe uh, the the onchocerca itself this the zoonoti onchocerca ni cannot cannot multiply cannot develop in human body just re remain as a Human uh, adults uh, and then coexist with you. They can they can live up to 20 years, 40 years with you. Uh, as far as I concern from the uh, reading that I made, so they have they also uh, harbor the Mansonella, Splend, uh, Splendido Splendidofilaria. They have the leucos uh, uh, vector to uh, kepada leucocytosome uh, that uh, you know, apa tu from birds. They also have uh, tripasonomes and then recently we we discovered the recaxial species as well dalam black fly juga. So I think uh, is a worth of study uh, that fly lah um, because um, and then vascular stomatitis virus so far we uh, found alum uh, um, black fly. So uh, this is um, zoonotic onchocerca life cycle. Macam tadi juga that I share with you how how uh, onchocerca the uh, volvulus transferred to human. Um, this is uh, uh, the zoonotic onchocerca. Uh, like uh, onkoserka onkoserka uh, ja, uh, duite japonica uh, dia punya host dia the, 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 the main host is wild boar but suddenly can be accidentally tra transmitted to human if this uh, based on opportunity lah kalau uh, dia tak jumpa wild boar untuk hisap darah maybe dia dia hisap darah human then they transfer the 
the zoonotic uh, parasite ni kepada human and then that zoonotic parasite ni akan develop in human body of course uh, it's uh, it's not compatible yet uh, so far we we haven't uh, received any report that zoonotic oncocerca can uh, develop in human can develop but cannot multiply they they just remain uh, adult inside they, they can produce they can produce uh, microfilaria but the microfilaria uh, apa tu soon will be uh, died uh, tak sempatlah nak terbang anak uh, nak berenang ke mata ataupun nak create the symptoms same like the oncocercal bubbles so um, this is the uh, uh, human case of zoonotic oncocerca uh, now not only in oita japan now we have in other places as well a lot of cases kat Europe, uh, in Asia kita ada kat Turkey, kita ada dekat uh, several uh, ni, uh, Taiwan, China. We have, uh, we, we also have in, uh, we found uh, parasites also in uh, a lot of animals in Malaysia, in Thailand as well kita jumpa. Cuma the same uh, study, the same research have never been conducted in Indonesia yet. That we know that Indonesia have a big, uh, uh, ju luas, uh, jumlah luas kawasan lebih besar dan a uh, big opportunity for uh, apa tu for research uh, program in Indonesia so this is uh, the um, uh, main so far that we know uh, bite human and then transmit the pathogen so asakoe we know that uh, transmit the filaria microgivum nodosum this three one this we have in Malaysia we have in Thailand we have in every every country in Southeast Asia but we don't know uh, in Indonesia yet. Microgilvum and Dodosum are in Thailand and other uh, Vietnam, uh, Myanmar, Laos, Cambodia. And then uh, we don't, Nodosum they have in uh, Indonesia. This is a vector. So you have we have the vector, potential vector. So uh, research direction for Indonesia and Malaysia as well. Uh, this is not only for Indonesia because the Malaysia point we still are doing ongoing, not yet completed. Research never never completes, so they they were another, uh, one stage to another stage, another stage. So uh, Prof Takauka mentioned to me once, uh, he's been uh, doing research in black fly over forty years, uh, tapi still not complete lagi. Ha. So uh, this is uh, uh, for the younger generation, for new uh, newly career researcher, ataupun uh, we are the established researcher not start on the black fly. This is a good opportunity for everyone. Ha. So why uh, why we need to study, why we need to continue do this uh, interesting research? Because in Malaysia, we know that we have the uh, potential host. We, we have the increased amount of uh, people came from uh, uh, what we call it, uh, area with the disease, uh, such as like Sub-Saharan Africa. We have people uh Yaman that they move freely to different different countries, can so they they might uh, in Malaysia in Indonesia I don't know but in Malaysia we never screen for the oncocerca antibody or oncocerca parasite we just receive the uh uh apa tu uh, uh, pelancong uh, pelajar whatever came from the uh, endemic countries. Uh, come to our countries without screening for anything uh, related to black fly borne disease. So this is the this is the threats. If let's say uh, some of them or one of them are positive for uh, parasites, and then we have the potential agent, potential vector in Malaysia or Indonesia. So the the, the behavior of the vector is keep uh, sucking the blood. And then they they will transmit the they they, they keep they keep uh apa tu, uh take blood from human uh, one to two human three another three uh, human so they can they they, they just need uh a perfect time the right time correct correct people um to just take the blood with the uh, parasites and then go to second human and then uh donate the parasite to human. The second human and become the infectious. So uh, what we can do, uh, what we can do is the uh, do the zero prevalent uh, in the immigrants lah. Uh, Malaysia, uh, we I'm, I am doing it in Malaysia, but of course it's not very easy because uh, of the ethic uh, is subjected to the approval of a uh, human being itself whether they like to donate the 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 blood or not because this is not compulsory uh, apa tu rule by the government. So this is uh, research, this totally research. 
So the ecology, uh, the another um, opportunity is the do the ecology of Indonesian black fly because still zero knowledge in for Indonesia. So uh, molecular ecology, we have uh, uh, some, and then that also contributed from our our study to Indonesia. But the real uh, study of molecular ecology for Indonesia are not yet established. So the microbiome parasite screening, of course, become the, the first uh, priority, the priority for us to, to do. Lah. And then uh, uh, what I can uh, suggest uh, those young are uh, interested, uh, go and uh, find a blood sucking black fly in Indonesia. You have to use bait or whatever you can do, use the standard protocol identify which what species is bite human taking the blood so give focus to that species try to dissect and then try to get the uh, parasite from uh, 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 apa tu uh, black fly itself lah sama ada you nak buat manually secara dissect under microscope or you want you want to do screening by using a PCR specific uh, guna specific primer for oncocerca it's up to you lah it's up to everybody because this is research uh, once you once you uh, find something that this is uh, information that has to be shared with your government, and then you need to know that this is a potential potential uh, factors, uh, maybe a potential threat for public health that uh, causing the uh, a parasitic disease in future. So uh, yeah, uh, this is our team. I would like to share. This is um, Gamba Yang. Uh, um, kami bersama dengan uh, rektor di Mataram University. Uh, this is uh, Dr. Wa, pro, sekarang dah jadi profesor, Profesor Wayan Suana. Pro Upik tak ada di sini. So, um, yeah, uh, we would like to say thank you uh, to uh, to the Ponegoro uh, University. Oh, okay, I got one message from my teacher. Now, she's, uh, this is Professor Hiroyuki Takauka, Emeritus. He's now in Oita University, already retired. Uh, so no more in Kuala Lumpur. He's back to, but he's still doing the uh, taxonomy paper. So he's got a lot more paper compared to young, younger researcher like me. So he keep publishing uh, one paper per month. So he, he got at least 12 papers, scientific papers per, per year. So he keep uh, helping everybody. So uh, best regard from, uh, best regard to everybody from Prof. Takauka. So, um, yeah, okay, I would like to say thank you to the Department of Epidemiology and Tropical Diseases, Depo Negoro University, Indonesia, so as well as the uh, Track Malaysia, lah, UM. So uh, I think uh, that's all from me. Um, thank you very much. Um, yeah. Stop sharing. Welcome. Stop share. Stop share. You're welcome, mm. Dr. Su. Yeah, thank you. Very excellent uh, presentation. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think from the audience from the participants yeah already yeah prepare the question uh, to dr su yeah. <laughs> yeah boleh boleh yeah uh, yeah uh, banyak peluang di dalam kajian yeah. and uh, yeah. opportunity to study about the black line yeah but uh, yeah maybe uh, i give uh, first to the student it on the participant yeah, to yeah, ask question to Dr. Su. Yeah, uh, you can uh, write in the inbox, uh, chat box, chat box to write your uh, question, but uh, you also write your hand yeah, to uh, give Dr. Su a question. Yeah, any, anyone from the audience? We uh, have participant here, Dr. Su. Uh, yeah. Uh, epidemiology, uh, Department of Epidemiology and Tropical Disease uh, has two interests. Yeah, in epidemiology, yeah, in epidemiology and uh, also entomology. Yeah, both of them, uh, yeah, um, having. Uh, research yeah about uh, vector bone disease, uh, other food bone disease yeah uh, by my uh, by my uh, colleague and also uh, our student uh, yeah in in uh, flies uh, on flies uh, I think uh, many students from 
uh, from us from uh, department uh, from entomology and epidemiology uh, many uh, concern in general uh, flies yeah uh, that's as you uh, mentioned before about uh, uh, what uh, domestic uh, domestic uh, flies yeah. yeah alat uh, rumah ya yeah. alat rumah uh, the potential of um, yeah muscat to uh, carry about the uh, bacteria and also the um, parasite and oh yeah um, the one uh, side uh, the fungi fungi yeah fungi yes. uh, carrying by uh, flies but the uh, black flies yeah I think it's it's uh, very uh, newest yeah, information uh, among the general of flies yeah. maybe you can um, yeah explain explain about uh, uh, although you mentioned before about the ecology the habitat and the uh, other uh, yeah, uh, information about the black uh, uh, black flies but uh, yeah uh, just in my mind uh, where i can yeah i can uh, find these yeah these uh, black flies in our environment yeah because you you mentioned uh, also about it. yeah if we if we collect in uh, the uh, housing complex maybe we can we can find these species and and and, uh, and i also is very um, surprised that the species more than 100 yeah 100 species of black flies yeah betul yeah. betul yeah um, indonesia um, memiliki uh, jumlah kawasan yang sangat luas dan um, untuk dibandingkan dengan uh, Malaysia lah, um, uh, so uh, that's why uh, uh, penyiasatan untuk uh, biodiversity black fly ni uh, berhenti pada uh, berhenti selepas Prof Upik macam tu, because of uh, Professor Hiroki Takauka dengan Prof Upik uh, telah uh, menjalankan satu apa tu uh, eksplorasi uh, untuk uh, Um, mencatatkan uh, jumlah sebenar lalat hitam kenapa uh, sebelum kita melihat kepada uh, sisi public health kita cannot do any kita cannot do any conclusion we cannot do anything on public health until we know the basic biology of the yeah. factor so for those uh, especially student undergraduates i saya sangat menasihatkanlah kepada mereka yang berminat nak menjadi researcher kepada yang berminat nak mendalami ilmu sains uh, dalam public health uh, because kalau nak jadi, uh, you are kalau you jadi public health uh, experts kan uh, of course um, you know everything around the uh, public apa uh, kesihatan awam tu sendiri what are the what are the disease that you want to focus so mungkin uh, disease tu zoonotic onchocerciasis your focus start start from the uh, apa tu question i would like to know whether zoonotic onchocerciasis is uh, apa tu um, ada di indonesia ataupun tidak that's the only simple question you can ask and then start do research to answer your question so to answer your question you have to go and find what are the biting species and then Once you collect the biting species, you need to know what are the pathogen carried by that particular species, whether they carry the parasites ataupun virus ataupun bacteria that can be pathogenic to human. So uh, that's very very simple. My my quest, uh, I ask myself juga lah sebelum ni uh, uh, lepas uh, taxonomy study is very difficult. Oh, Prof Takauka uh, expert in taxonomy, so uh, I think uh, I learned from him uh, and then. Uh, menggerakkan saya kepada public health sebab uh, the question uh, we keep we keep uh, tulis kita uh, bila satu question dah uh, terjawab kita tulis another question lagi okay uh, this is the biodiversity of black fly 122 species di Indonesia so what's next uh, that's the best thing to ask what's next adakah uh, bila uh, uh, terjadinya satu parasit disease uh, to human uh, dan baru kita nak mencari the sebab sebab we kita perlu belajar satu uh, 
lesson lesson from the first case dekat Africa onkocystis so during du, uh, masa di Africa last time there's no human onkocystis as well as Malaysia juga there's no dengue in Malaysia the first case dengue bila terjadi ha, sebelum tu siapa yang buat uh, apa siapa yang berminat untuk study dengue sebelum the first dengue case uh, came to our region South Asia region it's not the original from South Asia so um Okay, uh, lesson from the onkocystis in Indonesia, eh, in uh, Africa, last uh, in 19, 1980s, before that, 1970s, 1950s, before that, no human onkocystis detected in uh, Africa region ataupun South America ataupun Yemen. It suddenly occurred. It suddenly uh, the uh, uh, suddenly satu kampung, satu satu kawasan perkampungan pedalaman di Africa. I uh, tak ingat nama uh, country tu, apa negara tu tapi kampung tu berada berdekatan dengan sungai they 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 mereka menanam bercucuk tanam sungai kan uh, sebagai satu sumber makanan and then suddenly uh, one one uh, people one uh, villages tu uh, suddenly ada simptom gatal-gatal tapi gatal sahaja so never tak pernah terfikir ini adalah penyakit cuma gatal sebab uh, bermain pasir ke apa kan tapi uh, by day pesakit tu makin teruk makin teruk jadi buta hmm. the first person buta so orang tak perasan lagi come with the second person having the same symptoms and then third person fourth person sampai satu kampung tu hadapi penyakit yang sama and then barulah kerajaan ambil tindakan kenapa one 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 population in one kampung dekat sah apa sah uh, Sahara Afrika ni mengha, meng, menghadapi penyakit macam ni. So kerajaan telah me, melakukan penyiasatan ke uh, Afrika dia orang menyiasat dan menjemput seluruh scientist hmm. dekat uh, dunia termasuk uh, daripada Jepun not from Malaysia not from South Asia lah sebab we that time tak ada kepakaran. Dia menjemput scientist daripada uh, Jepun termasuk Prof Hiroyuki Takauka untuk pergi melawat Guatemala that time uh, the, the area di the kampung uh, yang kena ada seluruh kampung buta tu uh, penduduk dia buta so dia pergi uh, uh, buat penyiasatan uh, pelbagai kepakaran berada di sana lah dalam masa yang sama uh, public health, entomology, ophthalmology um, um, semua um, berada di sana untuk menyiasat apa yang terjadi sebenarnya dan on um, penyiasat tu berlaku agak lama lah not, not on the one or two days tapi makan tahun jugalah uh, it uh, takes uh, a year or two years untuk uh, get the 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 the, 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 the answer then suddenly the entomologists uh, confident that this carrot uh, found uh, onkocerca parasite di mata sama dengan onkocerca ni dalam badan um, lalat hitam so that they know that this is uh, the vet, black fly is a vector and then start the apa tu um, uh, do the uh, public health punya um, uh, ni lah um, mengawal penyakit uh, onkocystis sehingga sekarang masih ada di Afrika so uh, itu saya cakap pengajaran ni lah pengajaran kepada kita mungkin mungkin we don't know that what happened but as uh, researcher yang berada dalam uh, neglected tropical diseases okay. research we this is the, the best the best item the best um, the best apa ni the best program the best issue untuk kita uh, study uh, undergraduate you you start if you're interested go to the master for, uh, ataupun a uh, um, phd because um, in south kalau you berminat tahun 1980-an no it's very difficult to find a uh, tok guru cikgu a uh, apa tu teacher because Uh, tak ada experts but now uh, we are expanding the skill to uh, young uh, young researchers and all established researchers like us untuk keep apa uh, tu uh, minat untuk do the neglected uh, punya uh, diseases so uh, that's the the lesson lah we, we need to learn uh, mungkin Dr. Martin ni boleh uh, share dengan saya nanti uh, the apa tu the history of dengue uh, how So when when we try do the uh, lesson learn macam ni, then we can we can ask what we can do to prevent the same thing to happen in our uh, country ataupun region Southeast Asia. Yeah.
that's my um, sharing lah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. The, yeah. Yeah. Experience is of uh, the yeah most value yeah to uh yeah to to know something that uh, we can concern about it. Yeah. But uh uh from your explanation, yeah. Uh, I I I uh I just uh think about yeah maybe one one uh, the 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 beginning. After we we know about the uh, habitat of the uh, black flies, so we can uh, put uh, put the one area, the uh, high risk, yeah, high risk of that uh, disease uh, correlated with uh, correlation with the population of black flies. Maybe in the first we can uh, yeah we can uh, identify. Uh, the flies uh, in there, yeah, and then maybe uh, study uh, deeply about uh, the flies. So uh, and then we can develop yeah our uh, primary research about that. Yeah, I, I think yeah, uh, yeah, we can yeah we can um, we can start uh, about yeah our curious about the. The black flies and the habitat and the ecology of the black flies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, there is two. Uh, question. Yeah, from the chat box. Yeah. Uh, before we discuss. Yeah, because it's very, uh, interesting of us. Yeah, especially of uh, of me, because uh, after that I want to, yeah, I want to. Um, begin uh, collaboration research uh, uh, to Dr. Su. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah this, in this yeah. time, our yeah, our uh, government minister, uh, uh, minister uh, education, yeah, is uh, uh, what is offer the collaboration research, uh, international collaboration research, and give the funding. Yeah, maybe mm. yeah, we can uh, discuss. Uh, about this uh, after uh, uh, this meeting, mm -hmm. yeah, I can. Uh, read, read, yeah, read the uh, chat box. Uh, this is from Ella. Yeah, uh, she asks about how to control the larvae population of uh, black flies. Ah, okay. Um, it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, the kaeda ataupun method yang mm -hmm. um digunakan uh, di Afrika untuk mengawal uh, larva black fly dengan populasi larva black fly uh, we use the BTI Bacillus thuringiensis oh, yeah? the same oh, Korea, the same yeah, yeah. that because yeah. that's the only uh, faster the faster method tapi um, of course um, you cannot uh, apa tu apply BTI in every streams because not bukan semua larva black fly uh, adalah vector. Ha, dalam 122 spesies yang ada di Indonesia tu hmm? mungkin satu atau dua sahaja yang menyebabkan yang yang berpotensi untuk menjadi vector. Because dekat Afrika hmm. dekat Malaysia kita ada 90 99 spesies kan? Um, kami baru uh, kami baru sahaja um, mengenal pasti satu asakoe saya minum asakoe menghisap darah dan uh, daripada situlah kami start untuk do more investigation on this species we try to get try uh, ya yeah, itulah uh, untuk menjawab uh, apa tu pertanyaan elok uh, uh, we use the uh, bacillus thuringiensis uh, very uh, mesra mesra ecology <laughs> Kita mm -hmm. menggunakan pesticide lah nanti semua uh, apa stream stream ekosistem tu uh, rosak. Yeah. 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 We yeah mungkin uh, to avoid the yeah uh, use uh, pesticide use yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, betul. Uh, yeah. But uh, sometimes we need uh, insecticide to uh, control mm. the vector. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. BTA is uh, yeah. We we familiar about the BTA yeah, because uh, 
when we control the uh, mosquito eh. mm-hmm. yeah mosquito uh, uh, factor of dengue and also for malaria yeah we uh, use this uh, BTA yeah. to our community yeah cuma um, mungkin kita boleh risau sedikit mengenai apa tu dia punya resistant hmm resistant to be ano against BTA yes uh, oh, we yeah? don't know we don't know whether uh, Because um, insect also very um, smart, kan? Smart creature, yep. Yep. like mosquito, dengue, itu semua tu. Uh-huh. So uh, we don't know um, uh, whether the how long BTI can be uh, can can sustain uh, the effect effectiveness too. Um, hmm. That's why uh, now uh, they are not. Uh, yeah, BTI is a is a the last option lah. Last option. Uh, no, pesticide is the last option lah. Uh, if the BTI is a uh, resistant, hmm. the, the insect resistant to the bacteria. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And, uh, also, uh, to our uh, uh, student, yeah, from the entomology, yeah, we we often uh, give recommendation uh, to no force. Uh, the ecology, the habitat, and the biology of the vector uh, mm-hmm. before yeah, uh, use of the pesticide. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I, we have yeah. a second question. Yeah. Uh, one, one first, because uh, one uh, question uh, related with ELOC. Yeah, because with ELOC mentioned about the larvae of the breakfast, uh, it can survive in the water. Yeah, is this different with with the uh yeah, different with the other mosquito uh, uh black uh flies? I mean. Yes, yes, yeah. Um, larva, larva and pupa. Uh, they live. They, uh, habitat dia sungai yang mengalir, the mm. flowing waters. Uh, and then uh, waterfall, streams, yeah. oh. sungai-sungai. Um, tapi di Indonesia saya saya um. Uh, betul perasan uh, sungai-sungai telah di concrete concrete sim, concrete streams z apa itu le you mean uh, you, you dah modify the streams into cement the the sungai itu kan black fly still can can black fly still can break black fly still can bertelur dan uh, telur tu uh, bertukar menjadi larva dan pupa uh, dalam sungai se, uh, ni asalkan dia mengalir bersih Kena yeah. mengalir, wajib mengalir, yeah. bersih, bersih dan uh, yalah bersih. So, um, ya, yeah, semua semua menjadi idaman eh, untuk mendapatkan sungai yang bersih. Setiap yeah. negara pun <laughs> <laughs> kalau like kalau nyap. Like my country. <laughs> ya, yeah. so that's why I said, kalau lah black fly ni uh, menyebabkan uh, isu in, di masa hadapan, so macam government akan um, okay this is not like mosquito this is not like dengue mosquito you can just uh, hapuskan tempat membiak dengue hmm. uh, tempat-tempat air bertakung sampah sarap sampah-sampah semua buang tapi for black fly different no it's not like that it's in waterfall it's in you people go camping eh? hmm. and um, undergraduate students uh, mungkin you all pergi camping hmm. pergi um, hiking And then dalam tu ada sungai kecil, sungai besar, and then waterfall. Sungai tu semua habitat black fly. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, such as the mosquito, ya. Habitat dia. Yeah. Uh, ja- yeah. It can it can uh, survive in the what is solid uh, area like that. Is so be uh, on the water, at, or it, it can be uh, survive in the solid uh, what is it uh, substances and then. The, oh, no, not, not, on that. no, it's not. Not in solid. Uh, they like they like fish. They need to eat. Mm. Uh, the the larva have a g- filter. The gill, rambut tu, mm. the, the left and right gill. So mm. they need to eat. They eat by filtering the water. Mm. And then they eat. Mm. So they, yeah. they, that's why that's why they 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 akan mati kalau air tu tak bergerak. They need to eat. That's why uh the water must flow. So they they filter the they they akan tapis all the foods debris yeah, tu them. and then they eat. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah, this is just, <laughs> yeah <laughs> because <laughs> yeah because uh, my concerns not uh, 
uh, on flies yeah so this is this, yeah this is uh, very a great it's, yeah yeah um, uh, apa tu um, is a um, opportunity lah uh, if around the Diponegoro University if you have uh, streams if you have a park park that you have tak kisahlah macam uh, stream tu buatan manusia ataupun semula jadi yeah. uh, even uh, you have um, waterfall small waterfall in front of your house kan small waterfall yeah. tu waterfall yeah Uh, as long as uh, it's a clean you can you can you can go check dekat uh, yeah, tu, yeah. Uh, the bed the bed of the uh, waterfall you yang you create huh? yeah. akan ada lava black fly kat situ dia suka duduk di situ yeah okay. that's in uh, city lah ada juga yeah. dalam dalam you see melaya pun i found <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah okay maybe my student can <laughs> do that mm. <laughs> yeah the yeah. other yeah question sorry uh, So you can uh, see from the far, yeah. Uh, what the reason for uh, disease infection with fly vectors, especially black flies, are still uh, really studied compared to the communicable disease with the other vectors like mosquito. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. This is a very good question. Mm -hmm. uh, terima kasih kepada apa tu Zafar. Zafar, yeah. Yeah, because why? You know, uh, manusia akan takut bila you berdepan dengan uh, uh, what we call it uh, musuh, kan? Okay? Yeah. Musuh kita dengi. You nampak you nampak the dengi the, the dengi fever in front of you, so that you are we are all takut. Yeah. That's why kita do all the study about mosquitoes because the dengi in front of you hmm. that you never see anything other than dengi. You you tak nampak benda tu sampai di depan mata kita lagi menyebabkan yeah. uh, memberikan cabaran kepada kita until macam covid suddenly came yeah. dan baru orang nak cari uh, apa, penyebab, apa penyebab apa penyebab apa penyebab apa varian yeah. macam mana nak hasilkan vaksin then because human is uh, easily got afraid with a uh, threat so macam tu jugaklah black fly so far there's no reported in any case parasitic diseases So people akan think that why why should kenapa kita perlu uh, kenapa kita perlu susah-susah untuk study do this thing and this thing because there's no there's no threat. Tapi for those researcher like us, we learn a very deep. Mm -hmm. uh, we go deeper, we go deeper, and then we learn from previous lesson I mentioned to you. Okay, we learn from what happened in Africa, learn what happened in apa uh, tu sekeliling. In Japan, Taiwan, Africa, what to apa to Thailand? They have zoonotic onchocerciasis. Why not in Indonesia and Malaysia? That's how the researchers think. So when you think like a researcher, then start. You try to dig more on what what happened if this coming to you. Uh, maybe in 10 or 20 years, your generation are coming. So um, if someone think like that akan ada satu cabaran lagi. The next challenge is the insect is very insect for those yang bukan entomologis yang tak ada basic yang tidak ada uh, apa tu ilmu mengenai uh, ilmu uh, entomologi it's quite deep, it's quite uh, difficult lah untuk do the species identifikasi. It's not like bacteria you can just do screening detection and then identify the strains by molecular detection. Uh, so, jarang kan yang uh, orang boleh describe new species of bacteria. Uh, so that's how we train students from basic until you can be uh, whatever you want to be, uh, public health uh, practice or practitioners ataupun whatever you you want to be microbiologist, you want to be the entomologist. Tapi from the basic tu semuanya sama sahaja. You need you need to you need to learn from basic first. So mungkinlah benda ni uh, apa tu Uh, tak tak ramai yang berminat sebab susah nak ID the uh, insect tu sendiri dan insect ni kecil black fly lagi uh, no no uh, bacteria lagi kecil dia tak nampak you have, you have to see under microscope kan okay? tapi hmm. because of that that one is very very orang cakap very famous lah because you don't have to do you uh, apa tu what whatever um, uh, you you do uh, with uh, insect insect have to go and collect from the field bawa balik bawa microscope So benda tu semua tak susah-susah bagi tak kebanyakan kebanyakan orang lah 
if you're not interested, that if you are interested, you can go to the mountain, go and find the insects, bring back the insects, see under microscope, it's very beautiful. And then suddenly it's better, so it creates more, it creates more opportunity. Uh, so I think um, that's the best answer to give to Zafa and then uh, semua uh, pelajar-pelajar kenapa um, uh, apa tu? That's why that's why WHO call uh, hmm. disease other than mosquito-borne disease all are neglected. Vector-borne diseases other than mosquito, we call it neglected. Hmm. Why neglected? Because of this, because of lack of information. If anything happen, any uh, disease back, uh, put the black fly borne disease occur in uh, Indonesia today. So who you think uh, can solve this problem? We don't know where to where to find this, this, the the vector. Okay, so but there's no information. So this is this is our role as a public health to to dig start from now. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's very uh yeah best advice from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah so I uh I just think uh your explanation is uh content the philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, yes, sama bagi yeah. kuliah kuliah yeah. dekat pelajar pelajar macam tu. Mm -hmm. They they keep uh, they keep asking about why people tak interested nak study. It's yeah. not because not interested, because it's difficult. Hmm. Mm. Difficult and maybe mm. there is not, yeah, it's yeah. not enough, uh, what is it, sarana, prasarana. Yeah. Yeah. Support, why, yeah. 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 Why you need to move from, not not move lah. There, there, there are some uh, other special team dah untuk mosquito. Too many, too many researchers on the mosquito. Yeah. Dekat, dekat Malaysia pun too many, uh, overwhelmed dah, macam terlalu ramai. So why don't you move to neglected one? Then you become some uh someone that can hold something very rare. People will come to you and then uh ask your apa tu uh you know, ask to ask your uh information because you do something like outside uh, uh the the kebanyakan orang uh, buatkan. Uh, uh, my second advice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, ada, ada yeah. lagi. Yeah, yeah, there is two questions. Yeah. How to, I can <laughs> summarize this question. Boleh, boleh. Baca, saya boleh jawab yeah, terus. Yeah, Nares. Uh, there are uh, two persons uh, giving a question from Nares and then Dayan. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, bagaimana cara, yeah. okay. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Bagaimana cara mengukur kepadatan black fly? fly? Kapan kepadatan black fly dikatakan berbahaya untuk kesihatan? Oh, yeah. Okay, yes. you bet. Uh, please ingat satu benda. Hmm. Selagi black fly itu tidak diisytiharkan sebagai vector, it's not harm to any of. Yeah. It's not. It's not give any harm yeah. to your health. Yeah. Jangan, yeah. jangan, yeah. jangan kill the insect because of uh, you don't know anything about the insect. Okay, once um uh once you know that the insects that species like mosquito like Aedes aegypti, Aedes albopictus. We have 3,000 mosquito species at least. Tapi dua ni yang menjadi uh, uh, public health threat. Hmm. So, sama lah macam black fly. We have 2,000, almost 3,000 species. Only 10 or 15 are uh, vectors. And then that 10 to 15 tu, kita tak tahu wujud ke tak di our country, in our country. So that's our responsibility. But if if uh, that vector of, uh, ada di um, di negara kita like in Malaysia and Thailand what we did to control do the vector control we just mm -hmm. do the surveillance do the um, apa tu regular surveillance yeah. do regular surveillance on the adult flies don't go to the um, don't go to the uh, apa tu larva dulu mm. sebab you still don't know whether this vector is causing any harm to you or not you have to go and collect the adult flies okay. yang actively do the blood sucking. Mm, okay. okay, you have to go, you have to use uh, animal ataupun yourself as a bait. I use my, I use my student and me as well. <laughs> With the ethic. But we, we have to invite black flies to come and bite. So check them one by one. What are the species? So kenal pasti, this species is blood sucking. So you mm. have, once you have list of black flies, identify as blood sucking uh, apa tu uh, uh, lah, taking blood from human you can report dulu you report and then the public health or the ministry of health akan akan uh, 
use this information to make a surveillance. Surveillance, this species. So, this species ni, uh, uh, kita akan tanya, mana tempat membiak dia? Okay, that time you need to find the tempat membiak dia lah. Tempat membiak dia, tempat uh, breeding habitat dia kat mana, then baru do the, apa tu, collect, uh, collect, collecting um, the larvae black fly. Uh, because, um, Cara mengukur kepadatan black fly ni, sebenarnya we do for ecology study. Uh, we do the ecology study, um, at the same time, kalau lah the, uh, the ecology study have uh, conducted on the uh, apa tu, uh, important species, then it will be very useful lah. Kalau not important species, they just regular ecology study, just for information sahaja. So uh, kita, we have our standard protocol to calculate the kepadatan uh, black fly. We use the international standard lah. Uh, follow the guideline. Uh, maybe I can share later the, the the article with you because it's uh, quite complicated to share to to to, to mention here how to ukur kepadatan. It's uh, it's involved the measurement, involved the uh, apa tu, uh, certain um certain what we are, a certain area in the streams uh, for how many months how many days you need to how many hours you need to do the survey on that particular uh, area so that particular area will represent the whole uh, square the whole area of uh, tu, uh, the whole uh, sungai itu sendiri ha uh, so sebab tak seluruh tak keseluruhan sungai itu kan sungai itu kan panjang panjang daripada uh, Jawa Timur ke Jawa Barat mungkin sungai itu panjang Sengsa. sangat kalau dia berpecah-pecah lagi. So yeah. mungkin dia tak, black fly tak tersebar. Ha, spesies yang sama dia tak tersebar ke seluruh sungai dia tak. Dia hanya hidup di certain-certain yang sungai sahaja. Ikut, uh, dia ada kesukaan dia, habitat preference. Dia, dia, ini dah, telah dibuktikan uh, dengan kajian-kajian kita sebelum ni dekat Malaysia. So kita nak, we know that they, uh, dia sangat suka hidup di satu-satu tempat sahaja. Hmm. And then mungkin kat situ oksigen dia mencukupi. Tapi uh, sepanjang sungai yang di luar kawasan tu, oksigen dia mungkin dah berkurangan, dia tak boleh hidup. Uh, dia mencari benda-benda yang uh, sesuai dengan diri uh, setiap spesies tu. Uh, okay, uh, okay. Can, should I go to the next uh, ni? Ya, yeah. from Dayan. Um, yeah. uh, she asks about the uh, distribution of uh, black flies in Indonesia. And and uh, there is a group ah. ya yeah, from the article maybe about the okay. di mana di ya yeah. hmm. di mana distribusi vektor lalat hitam di Indonesia yang terbukti mengalami hmm. ongkos serkas fisik. This is a very good question. <laughs> yeah. I I should I should tell you now. Uh, it's it's depend on the Indonesian people to start doing this research. Di mana di, di mana distribusi vektor lalat hitam Indonesia yang terbukti mengandungi ongkos serkas spesies because we 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 have no funding from Malaysia to go to Indonesia and then do the ongkos serkas punya distribution so hmm. it's very good if University di Ponegoro uh, bekerjasama dengan UC Malaya uh, Bogor University Mataram University whatever, uh, dekat uh, UTY pun kita ada juga so start start collaborate now and then Though yang yang daya ni mungkin can 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 be part of the research team and then try to try, try jawab soalan ni uh, by doing your research. Yeah, because now I don't have any idea because uh, we cannot simply uh, because species dekat Malaysia, species dekat Indonesia huh? dia tak sama. Hanya beberapa sahaja yang sama. That's that's we call as a common spesies biasa yang boleh hidup di Malaysia yang boleh hidup di Indonesia sangat sikit yang selebihnya lain dia dia this is very unique about black fly ha, dia macam dia like Indonesia dia, dia like Malaysia tapi dua spesies yang berlainan ha, bila dipanggil spesies berlainan you need to you need to know the undergraduate student in public health yang working with in vector kan okay? atrophic vector you need to know the vector competency Not every species is competent to carry the virus, the 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 parasite. Tiga ribu tiga ribu species nyamuk di dunia. Kenapa Edis uh, Edis Abopictus and Edis Aegypti sahaja yang competent carrying the uh, hmm. apa tu dengue species? Yeah. Then one, then two, then three, then four. Why not Anopheles carry the dengue? Why? This is the because of go go find um 
factor competency. This is uh, apa tu cantiknya Allah dah ciptakan. Factor ni sesuai untuk bawa ni. Factor ni sesuai untuk bawa ni kan. Kalau boleh bawa semua pening kita kan. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a, that's a very good question to uh, Dayan. Yeah. Dayan, Dayan. Yeah, Dayan from the health quarantine. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Okay. Of, uh, Semarang. Yeah, Semarang City. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, lagi boleh saya baca lagi. Okay, do uh-huh. you have some question for that? Yes. I think uh, for um, oh, Muhammad Fauzi. Oh, Fauzi. Eh? Yeah, Fauzi. Oh, Muhammad Fauzi. And then, do you and have then, a uh-huh. Do you have fit sample collection protocol and lab diagnosis step? Yes, we do have. If you interested, uh, you can email me uh, through Dr. Martini. So yeah. we can share with you whatever information you need. We can yeah. share. No problem. We have this uh, optimized protocol for the Onkosaka detection using PCR, using uh, LAM as well, yang I, yang I guna dekat Africa. Uh, uh-huh. So we have that standard protocol so we can use. But bear in mind, the LAM, the LAM protocol is quite expensive it, oh, walaupun dia senang nak buat. Uh, lab tu very simple tapi the the every agent is very expensive oh, so i pun yeah, macam very yeah. uh, limited to buy the reagent so why not we just use the specific primer of the oncoseca and then we do the specific the genus detection oncoseca detection yeah. oncoseca distribution of indonesia is very good uh, research uh, apa tu uh, aim okay trivano trivano uh, ya yeah, trivano apakah yeah. berbeza black fly Oh yeah, black soldier and black. Apakah yeah. berbeza black? Yeah, I receive this question a lot. Uh, uh-huh. Not only from Trivano. Yeah, it's a uh, very big difference. The soldier fly doesn't bite hum, uh, doesn't uh, take blood from human. It's not vector. Uh, it's not parasitic vector. Uh, black fly is a vector. Uh, black soldier fly different. They are two different. Although uh, I think they are they are in the same order diptera, right? Hmm. Diptera, dipteran. They are dipteran insect. If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> I'm not mistaken because Diptera, I'm. Uh, yeah. yeah, but they are in different um, the gen, uh, genus, totally different genus. Genus. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, black fly genus. Um, apa tu? Ah, uh, Simulium. We have a uh, in the Oriental region. We have Simulium lah. One genus only in Oriental region. So no, soalan nombor dua, uh, ber, seberapa besar potensi black fly dapat menjadi vector di Indonesia? Okay, I give you uh, example of um, the study of vector in Thailand. Thailand is very Thailand is very active. They found so far seven species out of 19, uh, 90, 90 something uh, species. Seven um, bite human, taking blood from human. And then this seven is a vector of leukocytosome, trypanosome, mansonella. And then uh, now they are apa tu, uh, find, they found uh, Oncoserca sp. Tak tahu species apa. Oncoserca sp inside the body of black fly itu sendiri. So, the potency of black, kalau kalau you kalau you start cari black fly uh, potency vector black potensi black fly vector in Indonesia, I jamin uh, there will be at least two or three bite human and then start do the detection of parasite and then virus or bacteria. Because insect that sucking human or animal blood are the vector of uh, blood-borne pathogen, regardless pathogenic to human or not pathogenic to human. So, um, uh, my answer for number two, berapa besar potensi is very besar. It's very big. That's why we have been given a lot of money to do the neglected tropical diseases, especially black fly in Malaysia and Thailand. So we hope that Indonesia will receive a big funding after this, after this discussion, to start do the your own surveillance and we can provide skills for you. Yeah, that's my question. Very big. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's many questions. That's uh, after, yeah, um, but uh, the time is yeah, yeah limited and yeah because uh my uh times yeah eleven twelve thirty yeah so yeah, yeah so uh, I'm sorry uh, Doctor Su yeah there is uh many couriers from us yeah. And then uh, we discuss uh, very effective, yeah, very um, uh, interactive. So 
yeah so this is uh, open to our mind yeah to think about the rule of the black mice yeah but um uh, when when uh, for from uh, for uh, close uh, the session yeah i just want want to uh, express yeah that uh, you already give uh, uh, us uh, advice yeah but in indonesia yeah. uh, there is, uh, yeah, ada, ada banyak tantangan untuk melihat gitu secara mendalam gitu uh, tidak ada masalah kesehatan itu belum tentu ya belum tentu satu hal yang aman-aman saja gitu betul betul ya. so, siapa sangka covid 19 datang kan ya ya yeah, there is no one examples <laughs> until now ya yeah, we should uh, give uh, big attention about the uh, covid 19 and yeah, then until all, the uh, ongko satu lagi ibu ya yeah. uh, until uh, ongko sekaisis vaccine is the uh, yeah. successfully yeah. developed That's why oh, yeah. we need to do the research. So, oh, sekarang yeah. belum lagi berjaya lah. Uh, oh, so, uh, any disease that without a vaccine, so we need to be very careful lah. Yeah, the vaccine uh, be from your uh, laboratory? Uh, no, uh, okay. this is uh, lab uh, UK and UK, okay. US punya laboratory. Uh, they are now uh, at the stage of field trial hmm. uh, using uh, cattle uh, animal as a ni lah. Uh, ni. But we don't know whether it's going to be effective ataupun tak lagi. Sebab tu okay. we, yeah, yeah, okay, uh, Dr. Su, uh, <coughs> about the, the discussion about the black mice and and we know about the, yeah, uh, species rank of the uh, black flies, yeah, more than what we call uh, in Indonesia more than uh, 100 uh, species, yeah, but but uh, but just one yeah one or two or a tiny of the species can be a factor and have impact on the human health yeah this yeah, is very <laughs> interesting yeah, yeah, yeah thank you yeah dr su maybe uh, the other opportunity we can uh, get a discussion we can uh, discussion again uh, in the other uh, yeah even Yeah, maybe you can. Uh, we invite also to you be a speaker in a international conference. Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I like to. Okay. Yeah. I like to go to your university because yeah. maybe we can maybe we can start do uh to teach hmm. how to collect adult black fly and then start hmm. do the screening. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You you know that my, uh after Lebaran Day uh my faculty visit to uh, Malaysia yeah maybe uh, we can uh, visit to your laboratory yes yeah. please come yeah, yeah. let me our, know our student and also uh, our colleague from yeah. public health yeah yeah thank Selamat you datang. for our, yeah okay uh, i want just that uh, piece of the certificate for for you <laughs> we cannot we cannot mm -hmm. give you uh, the what is it yeah. the gift like oh, the you. common yeah if we can uh, thank you very much yeah this is a certificate from my our dean yeah give applause for uh to dr su <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah thank terima you kasih. very much dr su yeah terima kasih, ya. yeah uh, your uh was uh science your uh experience uh, we call mm. berkah and barokah yeah yeah sama <laughs> sama uh, your credential to us yeah Thank you uh, okay. on the session. Yeah, uh, uh, I want to give back to the MC. Yeah, please continue the uh, agenda, the next agenda. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you, Martini. What an inspiring present and discussion from Ms. Zubaida. I hope our learning and discussion today will be remarkable for all the audiences. The next session is uh, we have a special surprise for all of the audiences here. There is the quiz. The quiz is available for all the audiences here in a few minutes from now. Um, for operator in charge, please proceed.
There is a quiz for your participants. Don't left the session. Yeah, Jafar. Jafar, yeah. Please wait a moment because we uh, provide uh, several door prize. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, I also like to remind all the participants so feel the uh, presentation from the link uh, will be sent in the room chat by the committee. Okay, the link quiz, the quiz link is the available in the chat box for all the participants is available to join the quiz.
Okay, the quiz is over. The winners will be marked by quiz and activity. So wait for the committee's announcement. Before we leave this forum, we will get into the last photo sessions. All the audiences are expected to be prepared. Okay, uh, I will count until three and operator will take the picture. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, for the second slide. One, two, three. For the third slide. One, two, three. And for the last slide. Okay. I also like to remind all the participants to fill the evaluation form. The link will be sent in the room chat by the committee. Finally, we come to the end of the event. Once again, I would like to say thank you to our inspiring guest, speaker Ms. Zubaida. I also would like to say thank you to all the parties involved in this event. And of course, I would like to say thank you to all of the audiences here. Lastly, I'm sorry in, if in the course of the event, there are there were an in, intentional or unintentional errors. I hope we will meet again in the next event with the new spirits and insight. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.